Let's talk about the 10 best jobs that pay over $100,000 a year in median salary, according to US News, and I'll link the article in the description below. I'm really excited about this video because there's so many people out there who don't believe they will ever become high income earners. And I used to be one of them until I got a six figure paying job without a college degree because my employer at the time valued my military experience. And I have a bachelor's degree now because I was fortunate to work for a company that gave me $5,000 in tuition assistance every year. I'm gonna go through these 10 jobs without making this video too long, but feel free to leave me a comment if you're working in any of the professions I'm about to list, and if you're happy in that field. And my channel is all about how to achieve financial independence and retire early, and I believe if you want to retire earlier, you're gonna have to find a bigger shovel to increase your savings rate. I'm also gonna leave chapters below this video so you can feel free to skip ahead. So the first one is software developers. The article says that software developers are becoming critical for the growth and sustained success of businesses across industries. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is projecting a 26% job growth for software developers between 2021 and 2031, and they're estimating that the number of jobs will grow to 370,000. They're also expecting 42% of developers to leave their full-time job because they're not satisfied with their jobs. And it's interesting to note that a software developer requires a bachelor's degree, but I'm not sure if a degree proves that you're capable of becoming a software developer. And I wouldn't be surprised if the four-year college degree doesn't become a requirement in many companies in the future. The median salary for software developers is $120,000. And I know that since the end of 2022 and now in 2023, we're getting news headlines about how big tech companies like Meta, Tesla, and Amazon are laying off tens of thousands of people or implementing hiring freezes. While the unemployment rate remains between 3 and 4% and possibly goes up higher in 2023, there are still jobs out there that will pay you over six figures in income and sometimes bonuses like software developers. Just because Amazon and Meta are laying off workers, that doesn't mean that you can't find the opportunity elsewhere. The wage growth is much higher for people who switch jobs than the people who stay with the same company for 10 or 20 years. And the second best job is a nurse practitioner. And I didn't know this, but nurse practitioners are allowed to take patient histories, perform physical exams, analyze lab results, and prescribe medicines. And they're basically physicians with less formal education. They start out working as registered nurses, so with extra schooling, they can do what physicians do and make $120,000 a year in median salary. Now I wonder if my doctor is a physician or a nurse practitioner, but it doesn't matter either way. In order to become a nurse practitioner, you'll need at least a BSN and MSN, so a master's degree, pass exams, perform clinical research, and apply for a license in your state. And the third best job is a medical and health services manager. These are the people who plan, direct, and coordinate hospital operations, nursing homes, group practices, and other healthcare facilities to make sure they're running efficiently. I guess they're the uh, hospital administrators. And there's a high demand for more medical and health services managers due to a large population of baby boomers retiring from the workforce. And more hospitals and clinics need health services managers to run their facilities. You will need a minimum of a bachelor's degree and the median salary is around $101,000. And the fourth best job is a physician assistant. According to the article, the physician assistants use their medical expertise to examine, uh, diagnose, and treat patients while working closely with other healthcare professionals as a team to provide patient care. They can take medical histories, assist in surgeries, conduct physical exams, and prescribe medication. You will need a minimum of a master's degree and the median salary is around $121,000. Now in one of my previous videos, I stated that you don't need to make six figures in income to achieve financial independence. While that's true, my expenses when I retire early are projected to be much higher because I'm looking to travel the world and live six months in this country and live six months in another country. That's why I wanna be fat fired with $3.7 million, and I can't achieve that without having a higher income. 
Some of you watching this video might just be comfortable with a million or $2 million because your expenses are low. And if you don't know how to calculate your financial independence number, I strongly encourage you to visit my website at firesidechat.com contact to download my free financial resources, including the financial independence calculator. You should also check out my Fireside Chat shop to check out the books and equipment I use at firesidechat.com shopping. And the fifth best job is an information security analyst. And this is an interesting one because right now there's a high demand for people working in cyber or cybersecurity. They're responsible for protecting information in a company's computer systems from data breaches and cyber attacks. You can just imagine that just about every large company needs a team of information security analysts to protect their intellectual properties, right? We all know that there are adversaries who will try to gain information by any means necessary. The article says that the median salary is $102,000, but I think it's a lot higher than that amount. You will need a minimum of a bachelor's degree, but I know people with a cyber background in the military got hired by companies or organizations in the private sector without a degree. And if you need help with your personal finances, like creating a budget or savings plan to achieve your financial independence, you can schedule a free one-on-one 20 minute financial coaching session by visiting fightsuchhead.com coaching. And the sixth best job is a physical therapist. And this one surprised me the most. And I didn't know that you need a doctorate degree to become a physical therapist. And I'll be honest that I'm completely ignorant of the medical field, but physical therapy is crucial in preventive healthcare and it reduces the risk of chronic disease. It's basically a physical rehab to improve our mobility, increase our strength and re relieve uh, some of our pain in the affected areas. If you're a veteran, you're probably aware of how physical therapy is a crucial part of those who were wounded. And according to salary.com, the base salary for physical therapists ranges from $90,000 to $105,000 with a median base salary of $97,000. This is surprisingly a very underpaid profession with the requirement to get a doctorate degree. According to the American Physical Therapy Association, 90% of physical therapists have an average of $142,000 in student loans. And where you become a physical therapist will have a significant impact on your income. So if you live in South Dakota, the median salary there for a physical therapist is just $79,000. But if you live in Nevada, like where I am now, then the median salary is over $108,000. So before you take out a massive amount of student loan, make sure to calculate your return on investment to make sure it's worth it. And the seventh best job is a financial manager. The base median salary for a financial manager is $131,000 a year or $63 per hour. You will need a bachelor's degree and at least five years of work experience. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics is projecting a 17% growth in this profession for the next 10 years. Financial managers coordinate accounting and produce financial reports, cash flow statements, and profit projections. So if you like reading the stocks earnings reports like I do, financial managers are the people who compile 10Q and 10K SEC filings and let investors know their projections in sales, revenues, net profits, and many more. You can also become a CPA, CFA, CFP, or financial coach like me because we need more people working in the financial industry. And the eighth profession is IT managers and their median salary is almost $160,000 a year. An IT manager is someone who organizes and coordinates tech related matters by upgrading ex existing software or hardware. So if I were to hire an IT manager for my company, I would want that person to make sure my computer hardware and software are up to date, as well as any new tech that could improve my uh, content production or the financial coaching business in general. So if you work for a large organization or a private sector company, you probably get emails from the IT departments that you work, that your work computers are being updated with the latest security patches. Your network is constantly working because you have an IT manager who prevents adversaries from hacking your network or installing malware. The IT profession is also another high demand job with a projected growth of 16% over the next 10 years. You will need a minimum of a bachelor's degree, but because this is an, in such high demand, I wouldn't be surprised if they took away the four-year degree requirement. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, many people in IT became remote workers or digital nomads as freelancers living overseas. I strongly encourage you to check out the shorts I make 
on the best countries to live as digital nomads in 2023. And the number nine best job in the world is a web developer. Now, I'm actually working with a freelance web developer right now to rework my website so that it's easier for you to access my free financial resources to help you achieve financial independence. A web developer working for an organization or a private sector company works with graphic designers on site layout or they do the design work themselves. The article says that you need a bachelor's degree, uh, but I never once asked mine if she had a four year degree. Maybe if you're applying for a large corporation, then that's something they might require of you. If I were looking for a web developer, I would focus on your experience and research skills that could help my business increase sales and net profit. The median salary is $77,000, but according to Indeed.com, some companies will pay over $120,000 in annual salary. And the number 10 best job in the world is a dentist with a median salary of $160,000. I probably don't need to explain to you what a dentist does, but you will need a doctor degree to become a general dentist, pediatric dentist or oral surgeon. The average student loan for dental school graduates in 2021 was about $300,000. It generally takes about eight years to become a dentist. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are in the dental industry. To become a dentist, you'll need a bachelor's degree and take the dental admission test before getting into dental school. The first two years of dental school are typically in the classroom setting, and the last two years are in a clinical setting. You also need to pass the national board dental exam and get a state license. And after all that, then you choose the specialty that you find most appealing and aligns with your knowledge and skills. The residency, depending on the specialty, will take anywhere between two and six years. It's also interesting to know that over 76% of dentists are satisfied with their careers and the industry will continue to grow as the population increases. And if you wanna know more about what professions have the most millionaires and how to get started on your financial independence journey, be sure to check out these two videos. So with that said, I appreciate you watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.